Hey there! Today's video is on the top 3 12th gen motherboards with Thunderbolt. The list we compiled is based on significant study, and I'm confident that it'll appeal to a wide range of purchasers. I've provided links in the description below if you're interested in learning more about the products. To ensure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming video content, please consider giving us a like, subscribing, and hitting the notify button. Let's do this! We've done all the hard work and found the best Intel 12th Gen motherboard to house your brand new Alder Lake CPU. For our motherboard evaluations, we've used Intel's i9-12900K processor. Strap in and get comfortable as we list our top 3 12th Gen motherboards with Thunderbolt. Starting us off, we have the Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Extreme. Let's get the bad out the way before we look at the good. This thing is extremely pricey, and the dot matrix LED accents may not be everyone's cup of tea. But hey, luckily the good outweighs the bad. You're getting four 5.0 PCIe M.2 sockets, premium audio, and robust 24-phase 104-amp VRM. Everything about the Maximus Extreme is exactly what it says on the tin. That includes M2 connectivity, Wi-Fi 6E, 10 gigabit Ethernet, cooling, LCD panels, RGB connectors, and the superb design. This motherboard was designed for a specific purpose. The Extreme series from Asus is an excellent option for individuals looking for enthusiasts and extreme features. Should you buy this motherboard? Well, the answer depends on how much money you have available and what specifications you'll need. With the most durable VRM setups we've encountered, it's sure to be a popular choice for overclockers and enthusiasts looking for extreme performance. Among the many features are two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a good amount of Gen 4 M.2 mounts, and much more. This board is a dream. It has almost everything done well, but hot damn, that price. However, that doesn't make this board any less appealing or the wonderful quality product that it is. For the PC enthusiast who expects nothing less than the best, the Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Extreme Motherboard is a great choice at any price point. Up next, we have the Gigabyte Z690 Aorus Master. Always best to get the bad out the way first, and what we don't like is it's got last-gen audio codecs. Other than that, it's got overbuilt 105 amp power delivery, 5 M.2 sockets, and 11 total rear USB ports. Gigabyte is a major player in the motherboard market. Known for its high end boards that are over engineered and optimized for overclocking. A great example of this is found in the Master Series, which features incredibly powerful VRM and armor that conceals everything but the socket. Because of its stronger networking capabilities, it is expected to outsell the Hero by a wide margin. The fact that all of this is available for almost $100 less is rather enticing. The Z-Series Master Boards so far have been eye-catching, but this one has a unique quality. It exudes confidence with its nearly fully clad appearance, and the two RGB zones on the IO Stroud and chipset heatsink ensure that it can still be customized. Those who aren't satisfied with this tasteful method can always use the normal and addressable RGB headers. Direct VRM is a strong arrangement with 19 plus, 1 plus 2 stages. Each of the V cores can deliver 105 amps. However, the master is not just a one-trick pony. Both the board itself and the support system have one of the most thorough cooling methods of this generation. The chipset and four of the five M.2 slots are encased in a massive heatsink on the bottom section. A single PCIe 3.0 slot can only accommodate two PCIe 4.0 devices. The second portion is all about headers, and there are 11 of them. Four support water cooling components and system fans, the majority of which provide a specialized purpose. The master contains four hardened DIMM slots for DDR5, which is one of the generation's mainstays. If you utilize a single stick, you can get up to 6,400 megahertz and 128 gigabyte of storage. Audio files know that WIMA capacitors, hidden beneath all that plating, provide a fantastic sonic experience. Additionally, you'll find USB headers for your cases, I.O., as well as two Thunderbolt add-in card ports. Aquanch's 10 gigabit Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6E are only two of the many new features on the board's rear I.O. 
One of the 11 USB ports can be used to connect multiple peripherals and send data at 20 gigabits using USB-C. Realtek's latest Hi-Fi codec powers the gold-plated 5 Plus 1 audio stack, which gives a stunning sound experience with a single display port. In addition to the clear buttons for flashing the CMOS and BIOS, no overclocker would be complete without these. And lastly, at number 3, we have the Asus ROG Strix Z69Ti Gaming Wi-Fi. Another awesome option that supports DDR5 RAM. A negative for some may be that it's only up to 6000 MHz. You're also getting 14.1 power stages and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. A small form factor build might not be a good fit for the 12900K Sphere's temper, but that's not necessarily the case. For such a small form factor, this motherboard is packed with features, including an impressively powerful VRM. It has compromises like any board of its size, but none of them have to do with the quality of execution. SFF builds benefit greatly from this board's excellent performance, but the board's design is mediocre at best. The raw guy in the bottom left corner adds a dash of color to the otherwise all-black design. One is for Aura devices, and the other is for addressable RGB lights in general. You may want to leave RGB to a colorful RAM kit from a company like Corsair for the sake of simplicity. We had our doubts that the VRM could handle the 12,900K. However, it worked flawlessly. Phases are arranged in a 10 plus one arrangement. There are other boards on the list that are more powerful than this one, but it's still sufficient to operate the processor at default rates without exceeding 60 degc a modest VRM fan on top of IO shroud can swiftly bring temperatures down without causing a fuss. The same mini ITX limits apply, such as only having room for 64 GB of RAM and a reduced variety of hard drives. By using a thermally efficient sandwich made up of multiple stacked PCB to hold and isolate two PCIe 4.0 M.2 SSDs, ACES successfully addressed the latter issue. Additionally, a little daughter board provides two pairs of two SATA ports, as well as a front panel header. Three headers are required for both air and water cooling due to the fact that you can connect two USB 3.2 Gen 2 and one USB-C headers. Your case will not be at a disadvantage. When it comes to Mini ITX I.O., this board is headed and shoulders above the competition. It has two Thunderbolt 4 ports that dwarf the majority of larger motherboards. However, Asus did not compromise the sound quality by removing the optical SPDIF output. Wireless 6 and 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet are also on board, as are the two BIOS flashback or CMOS clearing buttons. It all fit alongside the VRM fan's vent openings. Quite a sight. And there you have it, a roundup of our top three i9 12th gen Intel motherboards with Thunderbolt. If you feel that we left your favorite motherboard out of this list, why not let us know in the comments below? Thanks for watching.